According to UNESCO benchmarks, Kenya will require at least 10,000 professional engineers by 2027 to adequately satisfy sustainable engineering services demand. And it is because we gave ourselves a target as a board and we said by 2027, I've seen now is being extended to 2028, we shall have registered 10,000 engineers. However, despite having over 28,000 graduate engineers, only 4,000 are registered professionals, leaving a majority of graduates unemployed. It is important uh, to ensure that the challenges that face the graduate engineers when they come from the university, that challenge should be addressed. And the challenge is basically employment. If you don't have employment as a graduate engineer, you have no opportunity of training. And you know, when you come to the board for the examination, all we are looking at is how, have you got any experience, working experience? Are you able to do A, B, C, D? Can you design, can you, you know, supervise or construct? So it is a question of the opportunity that those graduate engineers should have. The Engineers Board of Kenya is banking on, among others, the operationalization of the Kenya School of Engineering and the Academy of Engineering and Technology to offer structured, practice-based training to equip graduates with modern engineering skill set tailor-made for the job market. We want to position Kenyan engineers like I think we know Philipp Philippines has been exporting a lot of its human resources. They have over 100,000 engineers outside practicing outside of Philippines. This is the vision we are also having for our engineers, and they have been seen to be very capable and in high demand. EBK Registrar Engineer Margaret Ogai says, aligning training with market demands in renewable energy, smart water systems, and digital engineering will make local engineers more competitive. Local engineers have been urged to take advantage of the Washington Accord and venture into the global market. The high rate of this journey came in June this year when the Kenya Proudly acceded to the Washington Accord. This achievement positions our engineering education and training among the best in the world, assuring international recognition of Kenyan engineers and expanding opportunities for global mobility and collaboration. Regina Manyara reporting for KBC Channel One.